think about a circle. It's just a circle, right? Now split it into fourths. It's a circle with lines in it. But what if the circle was more than a circle? It has colors. It has a metallic taste. It feels pain when you split it into fourths, but enjoys being split into eighths. Try to imagine that. Hi, my name is Natalie Mandel. I have a condition that about 4% of the population has, which is around 300 million people. It's genetic. It affects you every day, and you can't go a minute without it coming up into your life. And I'm so glad I have it. It's called synesthesia. It's a condition where senses seem to connect with other senses they normally wouldn't. To me, my words, letters, and numbers are colored. This is called grapheme color synesthesia, and it's the most common form. It's only one of the types of synesthesia I have. Some words make me feel things, like the word toucan makes my left arm feel asleep. Tunes and beats have visual patterns, and voices have tastes. My mom's voice tastes like mixed berries. My dog's bark tastes like graham crackers. My Google Assistant's voice tastes like hard grape and banana flavored candies. In cafeterias and other places where lots of people are talking, everyone's collective voice tastes like chocolate. If you get a bunch of people to sing a song, like in a musical, it can be like a recipe. Someone sounds like eggs, someone else is milk, another person is sugar, etc. And if you get all the right ingredients, it's a cake or a cookie. If the song's not long enough, it's undercooked, and if the song is too long, it's overcooked. I've experienced this my whole life, and I honestly love it. A lot of pop songs taste the same and have the same patterns. Most pop songs use the same chords and the same beats, and they mostly all say the same thing and have a theme of love. Therefore, most pop songs have a similar minty flavor and a pattern of stitches and swimming turtles. And I love the musical Hamilton. The songs are perfect recipes. They make delicious sandwiches, cakes, and cookies because of how all of the voices are layered. The song Skylar Sisters tastes like amazing, crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, 10 out of 10 churros. Guns and Chips taste like chips and perfectly spiced salsa, which means it isn't spicy at all. I often listen to Hamilton music at night so I don't have to get up to get a midnight snack, but that can be very unsatisfying. I taste the food, but I can't swallow it, and it doesn't fill me up like real food does. Also, to clear it up, synesthesia is not a disease. It's a condition and an ability, and it always will be. Synesthetes tend to test negative on scales that check for psychosis, delusions, and other mental illnesses. We usually do better on memory tests than the general population. And a lot of famous people have synesthesia. Isaac Newton associated colors to music. Brendan Urie, the lead singer from the band Panic at the Disco, also has colors for music. Nikola Tesla had synesthesia. Marilyn Monroe saw vibrations when she heard specific sounds. Alessia Cara tastes words. Synesthesia is very closely related to art and music because synesthetes with music-related synesthesia can see the music they are writing. Artists can be inspired by the shapes they see. Some of them listen to music and put the shapes on a canvas, like painter Wassily Kandinsky. My two favorite of his paintings are circles in a circle and several circles because one, my synesthesia relates closest to these paintings, and two, I like circles. <laughs> They're an adorable shade of watercolor blue. Synesthesia is an unintentional ekphrasis. An ekphrasis is an interpretive work of art inspired from another work of art, like how Hamilton the Musical is an ekphrasis of the book Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow, which is an interpretation and expansion of the actual events of Hamilton's story. It is really actually fan fiction. Making art out of synesthesia is also an ekphrasis, because the art is an interpretation of the synesthetic experience it's based on, 
and or whatever the synesthete might be seeing. Synesthesia is a beautiful thing. If you have some time to observe the world, synesthesia allows someone to see things in a different way. If you look at the Milky Way and think about how it's all just suns and planets and dust, that's pretty black and white. But if you go, whoa, that's more of a synesthetic response. And so many artists have synesthesia. They see the world interpretively and they transfer that interpretation onto canvas or sheet music or the written page. I think more people should know about it. It plays such a big role in our art music, and daily lives, and most people don't even know it. I think schools should use synesthesia as a learning tool. Imagine what art could be created if students listened to Beethoven and painted what that looked like. By the way, it would most often look like a green ocean with yellow fish and a purple sky. And imagine if in music class we ate cupcakes and composed what they tasted like. They would sound like an opera. I would say let's bring synesthesia into the math classroom, but a yellow three and a blue five do not equal a green eight. Eight is tan with white sparkles, duh. <laughs> so for the teachers listening, I challenge you to bring synesthesia into your classroom. Imagine the interdisciplinary possibilities. Thank you.